kind of a poverty place. We're real isolated where Pickery's Pueblo is located. The nearest, I guess, big town is Taos, which is probably about 30, 35 miles north of the Pueblo. Um, it's just the isolation surrounded by mountains and just kind of got to use what you got. First of all, there's not a lot of solar in this area. So what we're doing is partnering with the Picaris Pueblo and the Northern Pueblo's Housing Authority on a demonstration project for a grid-tied solar installation. Uh, we're looking to incorporate some job training with some local uh, tribal members and help the tribe uh, realize that what inst solar installation means and the fact that you know that tribal members can uh, actually get jobs uh, in this industry. Potential. Yep, exactly. Today we're uh, helping out with installation of the uh, solar panels on um, Rose All Runners house. Learned about um, just the panels themselves, kind of what kind of power they produce and how efficient they're supposed to be. And having the solar power in our fire station Eventually, if something does break, we'll be, we'll have some knowledge of maybe how to fix it. Sustainability here, yes, is very important. This is a great opportunity to have this project here to um, be able to take advantage of the um, amount of sunshine that we get here. As a Pueblo, we've been looking toward the goal of being self-sufficient. Um, and I think energy is a big um, portion of that. I also think it's a big um, plus to um, see one of our members um, benefiting from solar. Um, a lot of it in the Pueblo is a lot about education, uh, educating our people about solar. I think that's the best, one of the best methods of education is actually hands-on education, hands-on um, training.